Hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube classroom. This is Dr. Asil Shaktivel, Faculty, Department of Environmental Science, Bangalore University. In the continuation of my previous classes on environmental pollution, we have discussed the air pollution, then water pollution. and today we are going to have a class on soil pollution and today class we are going to learn what is the definition for the soil how the soil is formed what are the character and properties of the soil and its component and how the soil is getting contaminated by natural source and anthropogenic source as well as and what is the impact caused by the pollutant in the soil environment on human and uh, plants and animals so soil is a more or less soil and crumbly part of our outer earth crust it contains minerals and organic constituent which is essential for the plant growth so plants are the producer for the entire world where it gives the food for the other organisms so producers are mainly depend on the soil character and the quality and nutrients on the top soil so soil is very important factor in the environment but the character will change depends on the locations of anywhere in the world and also the chemical constituents are completely depends on the parental rock material which is lying beneath of your soil so if you consider the complete structure of the soil there are two pieces in the soil one is solid phase and pore space solid phase consists of 50% which contains 45% of mineral and 5% of organic matter and remaining other part of 50% that include 25% air and 25% water so solid phase 50% and pore phase 50% combined together which will support the life on the earth so if you look at the figure here the soil is formed exactly from the parental material the soil formation from the rock called as a pedogenesis the parental rock materials undergoes the uh, three different progress in the pedogenesis process either by chemical method or enzymatic method or physical weathering process so the rock material it contains the different kind of minerals but these minerals could not able to directly utilized by the plant so nature itself converting the rock material into the smaller particles of minerals and the layers are framed according to the molecule size from the top to bottoms if you look at the figure in this complete structure the soil are classified into the three zones one is a horizon that is called as a uppermost top soil very important zone in the soil profile because most of the plant completely depend on the nutrient availability on the top soil that is a horizon and second layer and also middle layer and we call as a the buffer layer where partially the soil is converted into the complete maturation of soil or partially not maturated and uppermost soil and uh, second b horizon soil they are very closely interlinked because 
if the nutrient availability is are very less from the top soil this buffer zone the b horizon will support the nutrient availability towards the top soil meantime the c horizon contains the rocks and slowly degraded into the medium particle size and these medium particles again degraded converted into the smaller particles that and goes under the top that is a a horizon so the entire soil profile a horizon and b horizons is plays a vital role but the two horizons are completely depend on the character mineral availability and properties of c horizons located beneath of your soil profiles soil pollution where the unwanted toxic substance or contaminated in the soil in higher concentration which pose the health risk for the human and environment the soil is made and contains the essential minerals and uh, organic carbon naturally available and it has the character of holding the water and holding the air which will support the extension of the plant fruit where the plant is thriving well and production of fruits and vegetables nuts and pulses will be established meantime if any additional toxic substance are introduced into the soil environment these toxins are absorbed by our plant and accumulated in the plant pods including vegetables fruits and other where those who are consuming the secondary consumer also taking the same toxin substance which are already accumulated in the plants from the soil contaminations so this kind of adverse effect and altering the uh, food web and making contaminated in the food web has leads to the various health risks for the human as well as animal in the environment point this soil contaminated also affecting the other environment for example water during the rain season and getting seepage into the ground water and surface water the source of soil pollutions where the soil is getting the pollutant from the different activities agriculture sector where used the large amount of fertilizer and pesticide agricultural evolution in india has been recorded massively especially in the mid of 80s we called as a green revolution so the soil pollutions were accelerated after the green revolution of course the green revolution is introduced the different variety of crops and also invention of fertilizer and pesticide to increase the plant production and also control of pest together we can able to achieve the surplus amount of food grains during the green revolution but during the green revolution the mass number of fertilizer and pesticide being dumped on the agricultural land which is beyond the limitation if thus we supposed to use it for particular any crop it has the wide variety of impact on the environment that is also we are going to see how the fertilizer and pesticide uh, pollution in the water as well as the soil is causing the health effect on the human second the industrial activity the wide variety of industrial activity includes direct dispose of effluent untreated wastewater or generated in the industrial sector which carries the organic and inorganic pollution and directly disposed under the open land area all these liquid form of pollutant considered as a toxicants are directly dumped in the soil surfaces and soil contamination is taking place 
third dumping of solid waste from the different source either household or hospital solid waste or any other municipal solid waste these solid waste comp- dumping on open places also contribute in wide variety of toxicants on the top soil and mining and quarrying activity where we are exploring the minerals from the deeper earth and the to the top and lot of the heavy metals been exposed from deeper into the top and during the rain seasons it was carried by one place to other places and deposited into the anywhere any direction of the soil surface so these are all the major source of soil pollutions so far happening on the earth and and if you look out into the soil pollutions there are four categories out of the soil pollution categories hydrocarbons contributing 42% of soil pollution then followed by heavy metal contributing 31% then mineral oil are 20% and other 7% hydrocarbon are released from the different industrial activity in the form of poly aromatic hydrocarbons where the fossil fuels are used for burning purpose and also lubricant and pesticide also considered as a hydrocarbon i mean organophosphate and organochlorine are used to control the pests and insecticide and herbicide then heavy metals as a most toxic compound being released into the soil surface from the different source that we discussed last slide and mineral oil 20% and other 7% hydrocarbons from the source of chlorinated industrial solvent dioxin produced from the manufacture of pesticide and incineration of waste apart from this polychlorinated five phenyls bcbs residue in the soil will be there for more than 10 years and 50 years till the degradation taking place by the natural process on the polychlorinated biphenyl which will causes the many impact on the human as well as in the environment same pesticide this pesticide accumulation on the soil are absorbed by the plant root and accumulated in the fruits and vegetable where we are consuming the vegetable containing the pesticide and secondly we are accumulating the pesticide contaminated in our body where causes the wide variety of psychological problem and nervous imbalance problem and hormonal issues so heavy metals is a major pollutant on the soil surface arsenic antimony mercury lead and nickel and different sources are there and and the harmful effect and the symptoms so you need to understand there are three columns here one is the name of toxic metals and the in industrial source where the toxic metals are released from different industrial activity what is their health effect on the human so arsenic most dangerous heavy metal are released from the metallurgical process paint industry and textile industries the different color what they are used to making the wonderful color textiles which contains the arsenic and this industrial effluent carries the arsenic and contaminating the soil indirectly and directly causing the strong carcinogenic causes in the gastrointestinal and liver damage and also skin cancer a lead denoted as a bb released from the automobile industry where lead fuels are used previously but now that lead are reduced and there are unleaded fuels also available of course and before 1990s the lead petrol being used in huge amount and accumulated already in the top soil and still it's persisting the impact on environment so far from the battery usage a dumping of the battery uh, from the laptop or remote 
or any other car where it carries the lead pollution into the soil and also from paint industry and pesticide industry and uh, this lead contamination in the soil will accumulated in the in the food or through the water by seepaging into the ground water a uh, leaking into the ground water where those who are consuming the lead containing pesticide or water they will develop the hemoglobin formation cause called as a anemia and also damage the kidney and liver mental retardation and abnormalities in the fertility and pregnancy so during the neonatal period or developing children if they are exposed to the lead containing vegetables or fruits or water indirectly the mental retardation problem will take mental retardation include impairment of learning capacity and listening capacity and also understanding capacity will be less the nickel also the heavy metal uh, from the chemical industry and petroleum industries are the main source of the nickel is a carcinogenic and causes the dermatitis as a skin disease and weakness and edema cadmium from the refining industry and electroplating industry and also from pesticide industry which will causes the visual disturbance and also um, mental deteriorations i mean the coordination between the activity and your brain completely disturbed and chromosomal disorder leads to the uh, different childbirth issues as and also leads to the death copper uh, heavy metals are released from the electroplating industry and electrical goods industry where it causes the increased concretis and causes hypertension nausea and vomiting then followed by chromium it's a heavy metal uh, the main source of chromium into the soil environment from alloy steel alloy cast iron and stainless steel industry and metal plating industry where causes the carcinogen and also uh, shock and coma a chromium ulcer is common on the skin and tin from the tin processing industry has a impact on central nervous system and zinc or from the refineries and electroplating industry so look at here so all the heavy metals are here from arsenic lead nickel cadmium and mercury copper and then zinc and most of the heavy metals are released the majorly from three industries one is electroplating industry and also pesticide production producing industry then followed by uh, metallurgical process contributing the huge amount of um, the heavy metal on the soil surface and these heavy metals are contaminating the healthy soil uh, and the plant will absorb and directly contaminate the food and second these heavy metals are slowly penetrating into the deeper and have a contact with the ground water where it leads to the ground water contamination and people are consuming with the water which contain the heavy metal pollution leads to the all different kind of harmful effects so in general heavy metals has a direct impact on central nervous system problem then cancer then followed by gastroenteritis problem apart from the heavy metal pollutions on the soil the toxicity of pesticides are contributing the wide variety of health effects on the human so pesticides are applied in the agriculture field is a organic pollutant and causes the respiratory problem and symptoms include nausea trach and lungs then followed by causes the gastrointestinal issues the symptoms are stomach and intestinal problem and also damage the kidney and the neurological problem and hematological and dermatological issues and also reproductive problems 
so pesticide also contributing very dangerous impact on the human as well as in the environment uh, apart from the health issue issues on the human the soil pollution on the environment also has their direct effect on the ecosystem it will disturb the ecosystem by contaminating the uh, food web the toxicants are carried from one stage to other stage so food web just i want to remind you that producers consumer a decomposer then again producers okay so producers in the food on the uh, environment the plants or the producer which will produce the food carbohydrate lipid and vitamins and minerals through the photosynthesis process so photosynthesis process are taking place with the presence of sunlight and water and also minerals the water and minerals are absorbed from the uh, soil if the soil is contaminated all these foods are accumulated in the plants vegetables contains the uh, proteins vitamins will be coated with the <coughs> all the heavy metals and the pesticide toxins and the organic uh, chlorine toxins and hydrocarbon carbon pollutions and this will consumed by the consumer okay so in the consumer those who are eating the plant by the d or rabbit also in the muscles will contains the all these uh, pollutant and the consumer will be consumed by the second consumer that is the carnivores for tiger or lion which will eat the rabbit or deer from the <coughs> rabbit or deer again the pollutants in the meat will be accumulated on the second level of food web in the higher animal and after the uh, decay process after the dead of the animal the fossils which contains the pollutions will be decayed in the later times also minimum quantity will be accumulated so these food webs are continually disturbed by the heavy metal pollution in soil and organic pollution and also hydrocarbon pollutions so soil is a basic support for the production of the food by the producer if the soil is contaminated by toxic substance it will affect the food web mean contamination in the food and also the soil pollution leads to the ground water pollution by penetrating the toxicants into the deeper layer and the soil pollution by the different source of industrial activity leads to the surface water pollution so in previous classes i was discussing about the surface water pollution and the soil is also contributing a huge amount of pollution those are already contaminated by the different activities by the human anthropogenic level so how to mitigate the mitigation to control the soil pollution is to avoid the pollution source direct contact on the soil surface or any hazardous or chemical waste to be treated or converted into the non toxic compounds and finally you should be dumped into the open places or the soil is already contaminated by the anthropogenic activity it can be reclimated by adopting bioremediation technology bioremediation mean microorganisms including bacteria and fungi and all key been used to degrade the toxins present in the soil and phytoremediation using the plant we can able to degrade the accumulated toxins in the soils so the best adaptation for the controlling the soil pollution is avoid the pollution source direct contact at the top soil and if the soil is polluted then bioremediation and phytoremediation have to be 
taken care of so <clears throat> thank you for uh, listening my dear uh, students i hope this class uh, is a benefit for you to understand uh, the formation of soil then uh, soil profile the a horizon which is contain the lot of hydrocarbons pollution by the anthropogenic activity and top soil is a very important layer for the plant uh, because organic carbon uh, which is serves as a nutrient for the plant growth and soil is formed uh, by the weathering process by chemically physically and also uh, enzymatic from the parental rock and we learned soil pollution that is a uh, unwanted toxic substance or contaminated in the soil leads to the soil pollution and the source includes agriculture activity industrial activity dumping of solid waste mining and quarrying and types of soil and pollution majority hydrocarbon pollutants are more in the soil uh, contributing 42% heavy metal pollution contributing 31% and mineral oil pollutions in 20% other just 7 some percent apart from hydrocarbons or different activity did include the polychlorinated biphenyl and pesticide applications uh, and second the heavy metal from the different industrial sources and the side effect and health impact and toxicity by the pesticide has a wide variety of health issues on the human and soil pollution and in health effect on ecosystem it will affect the food web and also disturb the ecological balance on the earth leads to the destruction of environmental totally the mitigation measures include avoiding the direct contact of heavy metals and the pesticide direct on the soil surface bioremediation and phytoremediation is one of the factor and technique we can able to reclaiming the or treating the polluted soil into the less polluting soil so thank you for listening we will see next classroom